Tome 1. The Age of Virtue. Chapter 1. Magnus the Virtuous. In the ancient days of Valeria, before the skies darkened and the stars fell, there was Magnus the Virtuous. A demigod among mortals, Magnus was both king and deity to the people of Valeria. His very presence commanded reverence, for he was believed to be a descendant of gods, though little was known of them. His rule was a time of balance and peace, as nature thrived and society flourished under his guiding hand. The continent was united under the guild of godly virtues, a council sworn to uphold the values of their divine leader. Magnus embodied the very essence of virtue, a paragon of wisdom, justice, bravery, and charity. There were no other gods in Alaria, for Magnus was all they needed. He was the light of their world, and his word was law. Chapter 2. The Eclipse Yet, even the brightest lights cast shadows. One fateful day, a mass of dark, foreboding energy hurtled toward Alaria from the distant reaches of space. This catastrophe, known as the Eclipse, threatened to plunge the world into chaos. Magnus, in a final act of heroism, confronted the encroaching darkness. He sacrificed his own life to halt the Eclipse, but with his dying breath, he cast forth four golden seeds, sending them to the far corners of Valeria. These seeds would grow into something new. They were not simply plants, but the promise of hope. From these seeds arose four demigod prodigies, each inheriting one of Magnus's greatest virtues. Magni the Wise, Jezebel the Just, Gustav the Brave, and Vilwood the Charitable. Three sons and one daughter, destined to rule over the land in his stead. They would come to be known as the Four Khans of Valeria, revered and powerful beings charged with maintaining the balance Magnus had established. Tome 2. The Age of Division. Chapter 1. The Corruption of the Khans. Centuries passed, and though the four Khans ruled Alaria, the world had changed. Of the four, only Gustav the Brave remained true to the virtues of their progenitor. The others, Magni, Jezebel, and Vilwood had fallen from grace, succumbing to the temptations and weaknesses of mortality. They abandoned the virtues they once embodied, trading honor for greed, justice for power, and charity for self-interest. Now, the once united land was fractured. The Khans, who once stood as paragons of virtue, had become rivals. They coveted each other's territories and sought dominion over Alaria, driven by their own selfish desires. The Guild of Godly Virtues, once a symbol of unity and justice, was now in ruins, following Gustav the Brave, who was intent on maintaining a semblance of the order. Magnus had created by conquering the rest of Alaria and purging it of the corruption that had seeped into the hearts of other cons. Chapter 2 Rise of the Church of the Four Amidst the chaos, a new belief began to take root in Alaria. The people yearning for a return to the balance of old, began to follow a new faith, the Church of the Four. This church preached that peace among the Khans was the key to the world's salvation. Their doctrine held that only by making peace and coming together at the site of the Eclipse's impact would the Khans merge into one and summon Magnus the Virtuous back from the beyond. His return, they believed, would bring balance and harmony to Alaria once more. 